Hello guys, Garcia here. Welcome back to Oblivion. So guys, let's continue the quest from the last episode. I think it's called, yeah, With a Hungry Heart. So we found the notes by a guy named Julian Aglieros here, who claimed to have sailed here on a prior expedition with Spurious, which is the guy that gave us the quest. So, but he claims that uh, this guy here let him, let him to die here in this island. So let's see what we can find out. Probably we are going to have to face the spirit of the guy, I guess. Because we need to get the treasure. But he's probably guarding it, if I had to guess. Okay, so... This is the part that we actually opened after we found the lever. Behind the barrels there. Alright, so, secret passage. <laughs> so it's literally called a secret passage. Okay, so luckily with the Grey Cow here, we'll know where the enemies are. And my god... There's like 10 billion rats here. Well, luckily I have tons of arrows, so let's just start using them. I'm not looting all these guys <laughs> at all. Wait. They are not dying, I don't think. Are they? No, no, they are. Because there were so many that was like, I think they are immortal. But yeah, it's because they were all occupying the same space, basically. Alright, so what else? There's a bunch of skeletons there. So for now, we're good here. Since we got all those arrows from the skeletons earlier, we can just fire away here. you bro yeah this one's going to be slightly complicated because especially if, the, if the, these guys here are skeletal champions because they can summon a bunch of other uh, different types of skeletons including archers which could be a huge pain in the ass here all right that said we were able to clear here pretty easily Alright, so there's one guy down there. Can I hit him from here? Yes, actually. Oh, he's resisting the fire damage, I see. Yeah, so these are not the run-of-the-mill skeletons that you usually face here. Did I come from this place here? The Sanctum. I don't think so. No, no, I didn't. So I came from Secret Passage here, right? So if I go forward here, I will go to the abandoned island. So I'm going to go back to the island here. Yeah, but this is not the correct spot. Yeah, yeah, this isn't. This is closed. Okay. So it's not through here. Might be above. Might be below. We'll see. All right. So can access the sanctum. I don't think we can jump this. I mean, we could try, but odds are it's not gonna work. The modders will like will not give themselves the trouble of like building <laughs> this entire like stone protection here if there was a way to jump easily. So I guess we need to circumvent this somehow. This is the biggest vein I've ever seen in my life. What the hell? And only one flawed ruby. That's crazy. Oh, I cannot go through here either. Okay. Can I go through here? Yeah, so basically this is my limit here in terms of like how far I can go because clearly I might be able to like just jump down here, but what would be the point if I can like go to the other side, you know what I mean? I might get stuck. So let's go to the Sanctum first. Let's see what happens. So now we, we already know that we can face all the, the skeletons here. Oh, but that's a Lich. That's not good. Oh, he didn't die. Oh, he summoned... Or maybe I summoned these enemies because I entered here, I guess. So we got... Oh, the Mace of Burning, so yeah. Most of the enemies on this island are using the Mace of Burning. 
Here's another one. Oh. I didn't see this fella here. I don't know if they are like spawning after. Oh, the Ages of Fortune. Interesting. So that must be the treasure, I guess. So was this guy the Julian guy? I don't think so. Just a regular lich, apparently. I'm just checking the space here just to see if I can see like a... Wait, there's something here? What is this? Oh, yeah. Just a cranium here. So nothing. This one could be trapped. So let me check. It isn't. Conjuration. Okay. Yeah, not amazing. Let me use the tome already before I forget. So absorb magica. Here. Sure. The bound gauntlets here I already use, I think. Yeah. Okay. So can I get this without dying? This might be a trap, obviously, so let's just save here. <laughs> just seems too easy. So in the catacombs uh, deep beneath the ruins of the abandoned uh, priory, I have found an enchanted shield called the Ages of Fortune. This is probably the treasure worth... Uh, yeah, this is pr uh, probably treasure worth taking back to Spurious. Alright, so that's what he sent me for, I guess. Uh... Ages of Fortune, where is it? Oh, it's the first one, I see. Fortify Luck 25, Fortify Health 25. Fortify Luck 25 is actually amazing. It's really, a really strong effect. Because uh, Luck, let me read the description here. Luck has an effect on everything you do, but governs no skills. So every sort of role that you do in this game, in terms of like the odds of something happening, Luck the, the higher the luck you have, the more it will be influenced in your favor, you know? So the attribute does basically kind of <laughs> guides the destiny in your direction in certain uh, roles in the game. So having a decent amount of luck is actually pretty good. I have a decent amount of luck. 60 is, is better than average, I would say. But nothing is like incredibly special. There you go. So I glad I did, I'm glad I didn't jump down there because I didn't need it to, I guess. So we can go back to the island now. So, but what about what about Julian, the, the guy? I thought we were going to see him here. Oh, another vein. I see. Ruby. Well, this one is smaller, but it has more. <laughs> Just. Oh my God! Who knows? So obviously, I don't use shields, but. It's a cool item to have, and th this one is very interesting. Most of the items that we have been getting out of this mod, in terms of like loot and rewards from quests, have been very cool. In terms of like the combination of skills and power ups they give you, you know. We can't use them, but that doesn't make them bad. It just makes them like not be what we needed. Oh, they are down here now. Alright. So where is he? Oh wait, I need to remove the Great Cow, yeah. <laughs> the Great Fox here, wandering the island. Uh, Blade Turn Hood. Here. There you go. Let me wait. Okay. Hey man. You returned at last, I was beginning to give up hope. Have you found anything? Uh, yes, I did find this shield. Oh yes, this is shiny bubble indeed. Should fetch a fine price, give it to me, and may even let you live. Oh, I see. <laughs> I don't think so. Take it if you can. Oh, we will. Won't we, Hamie? Algil? We certainly will. Yeah. Well, that didn't last. So yeah, that was the plan, to make me work and then kill me, I guess. Uh, that's not gonna work. Oh, they actually attacked each other. That was interesting. You guys didn't see that. The other guy already gave up. Gave up. That's crazy. Actually, I'm not going to get anything from this guy yet because he dropped the sword. I don't know where the sword is. 
Oh, you can run, but you can't hide. This is an abandoned island. No one's going to help you here. So Spurious and his minions attempted to double-cross me and take the Ages of Fortune as well as my life. But I managed to kill them instead, now to find a way off the island. Yeah, so I felt that something was off when I saw them <laughs> on the beach. I was like, why are they down here? Why are they not waiting in the boat, you know? Especially because I already cleared uh, the island before. Uh, where's Feather here? Here. And also the guy already... Oh, those, this is uh, like a huge bug. Look. I don't know if the the if OBS is picking this up, but everything is grayed out as you can see. That's a rough bug. But yeah, the story here is that he already le left people behind before, so I felt like either he's going to leave me behind here too, or he was going to attack me somehow. So let's see what you have. Treasure map, sure. Oh, his house in Way is now mine. That's awesome. Lucky coin. Maybe that gives me like extra luck. I don't think so. Let me see. It's actually just a regular item. Weighs zero and has zero value. Can I drop this? Yeah, I can. Yeah, so it's just a coin. I mean, I guess. I don't know if there's something magical about it. So why did you drop the sword, sir? You had a good, like... Uh, I was going to say lifesteal. <laughs> Soul steel sword. So, where is it? Damn. Maybe it fell through the world here? Alright, so you fell here. The sword could not have gone far, I don't think. Maybe it's like below the rubble here. Well, whatever. It's good. Let's go. Jeez, jump. <laughs> That's rough. Okay, so we got the ages for us. We didn't exactly avenge. I think the name of the guy is Julian, right? But at least we got the treasure and we defeated Sparius here. More for ourselves than anything else. Let me see if the quest actually... Yeah, I just need to escape the island here and that's it. This one, unfortunately, I'll have to use the console to finish, right? Because it's done, but we cannot finish it. Okay. Oh, we're back to the main boat here. Hey guys. Make it quick. Sure. What about you? Just what? And why are you not using anything? Can I enter here? Yeah, actually. No, I can't. I see. Alright, so send me what back to Cyrodiil, please. So by Seda's beard, I had no idea they were going to attack you. Please don't kill us. I'm not going to kill you. I need the ride back. And I can't believe that. So we're done here. Take us home. Sir, I'll, I'll be glad to see the last of this place. Yeah, that's a fact. There you go. So I'm glad we didn't have to fight them. Because obviously, I, would think, I was uh, thinking how the hell we are going to sail back. I don't have that type of skill, I think. So we're back, this is the last time Hyades uh, makes that voyage, uh, if I have anything to say about it, I see.
We'll put you off at the docks, no offense, uh, but we'll like you gone and put this behind us as quick as you can. Yeah, I can understand it. Oh, this is taking a while. <laughs> so my return to Evo was rather unceremonious, yeah. But I am nevertheless safe and sound. And the proud owner of a brand new shield. Uh, brand new to me anyway. <laughs> All right, so we did it. So I think we are pretty much done with the quest for Wei. Because this one is, is done, obviously. But I need to use the console to finish it because of the bug we had. But this is the last main one. So we have secondary ones. The only one that I actually remember is the zombie one. Which is basically we need to go back to the, to the manor and we need to sleep there. That's it. But, uh, before we go there, let's just go to the market district in the Imperial City to sell some stuff. I have a lot of stuff here. Be careful to not sell the ages. And yeah, after the zombie quest, I don't remember anything else. So, either that means that my memory is horrible, or we are done with Wei. But we'll see. <laughs> I love how these guys like walk around with in this uh, with these fancy clothes while the there's a storm outside, you know. No protection. Good evening. Hey. Good day. Let's charge it back up. Yes, let's. May I interest you in some of my fine So before ways? this quest started, I already had a lot of stuff that I wanted to keep. Oh great. For some reason it started in the middle there. So let me sell everything that I don't want to keep here. I'll keep the arrows. You got a not? great deal there. Okay, so the ages, this one I wanna keep. The great cow, obviously. A fine transaction. A good a mirror. Price for a good. I can't believe that this late in the game I actually replaced it. But that that ring of spell strike is insane. Like, thirty percent reflection spell is just unbelievable. That's a fair deal. It's also impressive that we actually haven't found a single bottle of Shadow Banish wine yet. Which is that wine that we need to give the lady from Way to. We also have that quest, the secondary quest for the guy in Way, the one that wants the slaughterfish uh, scales. But to be honest, I hate that quest so much. So I'm really not that interested in doing that quest. So I might do it later just to like remove it from my quest log. But I really really don't care about it to be honest. I remember back in the day this quest being a pain in the ass to complete. Basically because I always play with a... Like a, an archer. And this quest with an archer is very annoying because you need to... Basically chase the fish in the lake. So basically, you need to swim after it, and obviously, using arrows in water like that is actually a pain in the ass too. So that seems a fair price. Uh, yeah. So I really need to go back home to empty out my inventory. Farewell. My actual home, not way. <laughs> All right. So let me use the hammers here on my items. Let's see. If we can get a, an extra point of armor here. Oh. We actually barely got hit there. Yeah, but there was no, like, real threat there. I mean, the guys could have been a threat, but they weren't. Oh, I thought this was a crash. I was about to say crash, but no. Okay. I'll take it. 
I'll take a freeze instead of a crash any day of the week. Hey, lady. I meet this lady like every day. <laughs> every time I play this game, I meet her here. All right, so let's go back home. So yeah, the idea is we need to go back to the the manor, and I, I'm pretty sure we need to sleep the night there. Meaning, there's no point in going there in the morning and sleeping like an hour. It doesn't work because I'm pretty sure the zombies only spawn at night. But that's the last quest I remember from the way mod. Then I would have to check the what's the name of the thing, the walkthrough to see if there's like a quest that I can still do. So I think that now that we finished the way quest, we only have two options. Actually, we have three options. The better cities quests that we have a bunch of them in the other oh, back in the quest log, or we can we could also finally start the main quest. And also there's the integrated quest line, but that one I haven't done a single quest of that one. So I have no idea how it's going to go. So probably should just start the main quest finally. That's the, obviously the, the, the main point of the game. Okay, so let me drop all the materials here. Oh, there's Kuma too. But I don't know if I should... Oh, I see. So this is a quest item. The ashes from the guy we defeated in the When We Wish Upon a Star quest. Interesting. So no Nern roots here. Probably Vampire Dust, I should get it too. I'm going to get it. Let's just drop everything else. So yeah, as long as that quest is in my uh, quest log, I won't be able to drop this for a while. So I'll, I'll just do the console thing for the next episode, so I can remove that. Alright, so uh, where is the vampire thing here? Vampire dust. I don't know why there's two separate vampire dust. I'm going to keep this one here just to not bug out by mistake anything here. Okay, so let me drop the books that I want to drop here. So, quest related stuff is on the other chest. I, I will drop only books here. So, book, book, uh, many touch. This is what I actually need. I mean, not need for now. Uh, what's the name of the guy? I forgot. Ilahe, which is the Argonian. In way he sells elemental arrows, but for me to be able to actually buy the arrows, I need to actually. Oh, this is very good. I need to actually sell him the materials for the specific type of types of arrows that I need, and that is obviously a pain in the ass. It's very complicated, so might as well not do it. You know what I mean? Everything related to the manor also I can drop here. This is from a quest too. Uh, can go, you can go, you can go. There you go. All right, everything organized here. Go up. This place here reminds me of my storage rooms in Minecraft. Hello. Probably the thing that I enjoy doing the most in the game is actually of course. looting stuff and sorting the loot. Way more than actually building, or even exploring, just like reorganizing my stuff. Let me get a couple of repair hammers here. Oh yeah, and because we dropped every single quest item from the Daedric Shrines here, I'm going to drop the Namira's Ring here, or the Ring of Namira here, because it was originally one of the items that we got from those quests. Uh, wrong storage container here. So the Aegis is going to stay here. You here too. This one too. The Light of Dawn will stay here forever. So, okay. Alright, let me drop the arrows here. The arrows and the the Nern Roots. Let's drop like 
148, I guess. Yeah, I'll keep the rest. Uh, potions that I'm not going to use. So everything that is not healing. I'm going to drop this Kuma here too, just in case I need this later for something. It's possible. There's a lot of people addicted to Skuma in Cyrodiil. So we might be able to use this for something useful later. What else? Oh yeah, we have a uh, Lion Pelt. This should have been downstairs, actually, but whatever. It doesn't matter a whole lot. Unique items always go here. So we have this lucky coin that I don't know if it has, if it has like a purpose or not. I don't think so. Uh, lucky old lady. Yeah, I want to sell this stolen item too. Oh, I have a stolen Varla stone. I didn't even know that. The stones are here, actually. So let me drop it here. One of those items that is very good, but I never used. <laughs> just, just exists. Alright, so I think I'm done here, basically. Just need to sell the stolen items that are in the inventory here. Yeah, did this. Oh, yeah, I need to drop the... What's the name? The scrolls here, too. But it's very annoying when you get a quest stuck like that, because then you need to always resort to the to using the console, which I don't like, but it is what it is, you know? So now, just need to sell the stuff to... forgot the name of the guy here, <laughs> that buys stolen stuff. Actually... Oh, that was scary, I thought I was going to have to fight here. Actually, I think I don't need to do it anymore. I don't need to like sell items only to particular people that buy particular types of items because of mercantile, right? So I think you can sell stolen stuff. Or maybe not. Maybe I can only sell like different types of items to the same person. So like weapons and armor and miscellaneous items to like the lady that sells spells, for example. But I cannot sell like stolen goods, I don't think. A pleasure to speak. But this guy buys Let's them, do so business. there you go. That's the guy I need. Let me do this. The soul gem. No, I'm going to keep this one, <laughs> clearly. Yeah, that there you seems go. A fair price. Oh, almost 200,000 200, uh, gold here. That's pretty Another. good. Okay. You too. How are you doing in terms of leveling? 30%, okay, pretty manageable. Two points of need, sure. Okay, so let's go back uh, to way. So we need to spend the night there to activate the zombie quest. This will probably be the last quest we're going to do, unless we get more quests there. Like, most of the quests there, someone like shows up at your door and give you a quest or start attacking you or something. So if that happens again, we will continue it, obviously. But if no quests are relevant anymore, in terms of like, I need to go out of my way to actually find them or do them because of some like super important reason. If that's not the case, then we'll start the main quest in the next episode. It's probably going to take a while. <laughs> main quest is pretty long. Hey Malik. Be seeing you. So everything seems in order here. You have the eyes of a trained marksman. Sure. Hail. Uh, Gumne, sure. I'm glad to see you safe. I don't suppose I need to tell you that some thugs broke into your manor. No, no, they did. It occurred to me that you might want to do something about that. Hire some guards in case they come again. Oh, really? I can do that? I actually like that idea. Hire guards. As it happens, I just I know just the man for the job. Name is uh, Macrinus. He's an Imperial. Does all sorts of guard work. He guards a few caravans. Uh, I've been in... Oh, I've been in... I see. Alright, so he knows them from the past. I believe he's staying in Imperial City, the King and Queen Tavern. Okay, I can go there. King and Queen Tavern. 
You too. I don't know where that is. May I interest you in some of my fine wares? Oh yes. I'll get one of these. Tell your friend. So I didn't know that I could actually hire guard guards. That's actually interesting. Pretty good. Okay. So instead of going back home right away, let's go to the King and Queen Tavern. Now I have no idea where that is. Let me see if you can actually tell me. I wasn't paying attention because I was trying to read the thing. Well met. Oh, damn. Good day. Is that a quest? Let me see. Not really. Greetings. Okay, so I'm going to start in the market district. Could be in the temple district, could be in the elven gardens, could be in everywhere, <laughs> anywhere. <laughs> Just, I have no idea. You don't have any real reason to enter taverns much in this game. So I know that it's not that one because it's called Merchant's Inn. And it's an inn on a tavern, right? Yeah, so I don't think there's any tavern here. So let's try the other districts right away. I don't think it's going to be a better city's tavern. So I don't think I need to worry about the new buildings. But I could be wrong, obviously. Okay, so let's try uh, the oven gardens first. And then we'll try the temple district. Great, got lost again. Hey, sir. I think this is the first time I entered the Elven Gardens here on this playthrough. What is it? Which is insane. So a lot of broads. Good afternoon. Uh, the King and Queen. Oh, he's actually here. Great. Problem solved. Now I need to find the guy. That's another problem. Oh, Banners, the guy that sold me the manor in Anvil. Enjoy the manor. It suits you well. Yeah, I remember him. I don't want to talk about that anymore. Good fortune to you. I need light. Hail, sir. Oh yeah, this is the guy. Well, that was easy. I thought it was going to take a while. Hey, Macrinus. What? Uh, hire guards. So you want to hire some guards, eh? And Thelonius sent you, yes, uh, for five thousand septums and lodging. Me and some of my crew will help you out. Deal. Yeah, sounds good. I'll head over there right away. No more thugs in our on our watch. Awesome. Five thousand is like a, a bargain. Yes. For real. Goodbye. It's really really good. Problem is, it's already too late. Maybe they can help me against the zombies if they show up. I guess. But that's very cool. I wanted to have a full house, so I was wondering a few episodes ago if we only were going to have only the three that we already have: the bladesmith, the maid, Hello. and the gardener. Only thing worse than an ogre. But yeah, apparently we could just hire more people. Hey, dude, how are you doing? Good day. Uh, nothing. Take care. Okay, so let's go back inside and let's sleep to activate the quest. Let's see if the guards are, are there already. Oh, there he is. All is well. Great. Alright, so can use them as followers. You stay there, sir. So who else is here? Well, the maid, as always. I don't think she's going to have any quests anymore. The great forest was... Yeah. Man, to this day, I'm annoyed that I had to defeat Milas, her brother. I wish I could have him here too, but it is what it is. So there's no one here, no one here, no one here. So either the other guys haven't arrived or they are in the basement. Let me check. So there's one outside. I know that the swordsman usually hangs around here. 
Oh yeah, let me close this tray. <laughs> You're the divine crusader. Yeah. Bye. So why don't you train right now? So yeah, maybe they haven't arrived yet. That must be the thing. She got stuck there for a second. Yeah, so let me just leave. Let's wait for the... Yeah, I'm using this as my main... No, not this. Wait. I think I saw someone there. This one. As my main room here. So let's just leap through the night here. I'm pretty sure they are going to wake me. So I'm going to just sleep until like... Uh, 11 p.m. Maybe... 12 p.m. or a.m. I don't know. Uh, five hours. Yeah, five hours. No, this is eight. Oh, damn. Well, I can cancel. That's good enough. Wait, this is AM. Oh, is this correct, right? Oh, this is correct. <laughs> oh, there you go. So there you go, he's living here now. Goodbye. So he's walking around at night here, guarding the stuff. Great. That's why I hired him. So Marina is fine. Here we have Orlando and Mayron, so the gardener and the swordsman. So we have one guard upstairs. Maybe we have one that one down here, we'll see. No? Maybe they're in the basement, I don't know. Okay, so no quest yet. Oh, a new one. Kajit lady. There you go, so she's fine. Alright, everybody's fine. So yeah, maybe I need to wait one extra night. We'll see. This, yeah, this set of stairs here actually is kind of cursed. You can only go up on the side of the stairs for some reason. Uh, wrong again. Here. Alright, so let's rest here. Let's see if in a few hours someone's going to wake us up. If not, we're ju just going to sleep until the next day. Not until the next day, until the next uh, night. Because most of these quests here, you have to wait a few days, so it's not like it doesn't make sense. Oh, wait, wait, wait. I don't think we can do the quest right now. For a very simple reason, actually. Uh, we didn't finish when we, we wish upon a star, right? We finished the quest, but because of the bug, the quest is still in our active quest part of the of the log here. Which means that we cannot get the next quests unless I do the... What's the name? The removal of the quest log right away using the console, you know? So that's why... Alright, so first I need to... <laughs> get the code of the quest so yeah so probably I'm going to keep this episode short I'm going to just get the the console quest or the <laughs> not the console quest Jesus I'm going to get the code for the quest to use in the console to be able to actually finish the quest so it's, it's an unfortunate case of like a quest that we were actually able to do with no problem, but a bug forced us to fight a bunch of guys that we shouldn't be fighting early. Only after I did a certain thing in the quest. And because of that we skipped the we ended up skipping one state of the quest, which ended up making the quest uh, basically uncompletable, if that's a word. Or incompletable. So because of that, we actually need to use the console to do it. So actually, you know what? I'm going to make a cut here. I'm going to save. I'm going to close the game. I'm going to find uh, the walkthrough here. I'm going to check for the 
console command and we are going to do it together here and we'll see if it works so uh just a second guys hey guys i'm back so i just did what i told you guys i was going to do and it didn't work there's a couple of methods that you can use to complete a quest using the console so first of all you can come here and type in uh, complete quest and the code of the quest didn't work and you can also type in set stage then the code of the quest and then 100 which is the last stage of uh, or less state of every single quest and by doing that you can complete uh, the quest using the console which is a method that I already used during this playthrough once for that vampire quest in the mages guild that wasn't working that one in Skingrad. so yeah it didn't work so either I don't have the correct uh, code of the quest or because it's a modded quest it just doesn't have a you don't just don't have a way to use the, to use the console to complete the quest that way you know so that basically means that we are done with way here because this, this quest has been completed but i cannot do anything with it i cannot move this to the completed section unfortunately probably ever so yeah that item that i also have here guy gaze uh, various ashes here is also going to stay here forever there's nothing I can do about it. So unfortunately, that means that we can't continue to do way quests here. That said, we already did all the quests. And this quest, which is the last one, we did complete. It's just a bug that's preventing us from moving it to the completed section. So because this quest has not been completed in the eyes of the game here, that basically means that uh, two or three or maybe even four uh, side quests that we could do after the main quest here is completed, uh we will not be able to do it anymore unfortunately so that's basically it for the way mod so it's a, an amazing mod uh it's very well made uh, other than that bug there and uh, the side quests are really cool the characters are cool the idea of the mod is really cool because you can have this manner pretty early uh, in the game and you can have guards and you can have a maid and so, a guy to train with and so on even a gardener <laughs> So it's, it's very cool and you, you like you start to become friends with all the, the NPCs in way here. So yeah, it's a great idea for a mod. Just like breathing life into just a random ass village uh, close to the Imperial City. So it's really, really cool. So I, I enjoyed it quite a lot the first time I played and again while replaying it here. It's a shame that we got the bug there, but yeah, we got stuck. But we were able to do the entire main quest, so we have the entirety of the the manner for us here and all the NPCs we could get. All right, guys, so uh, let's actually start the main quest now. So I could go with the better cities quest as, as I told you guys before, guys before, but I don't know first how to do them because I nev I've never done them before. And second, I don't know how many of them there is. And my guess, or there are, my guess is probably dozens so that's a lot that's a huge commitment for something that i don't know how it works you know or how they are going to work and we could also do the integration quest line which is another modern quest line that i have but i don't know anything about that one either so i just have the first one here in the broom in Bruma's prison so <laughs> i have no idea how to even start and so on i just know where to go but basically that's it so instead, let's just uh, start the the only quest line that we haven't done yet in the game, uh, excluding obviously the Shivering Isles, which is the main quest. So let's go there. So I don't think I need to go back home anymore. Yeah, we're good. So yeah, it's unfortunate here the situation with the way quest line. I wanted to do the other quests, including the the zombie quest. But hey, the main quests are done. So it should be fine. So I think we only need to come back here just to sell stuff to Thelonious, which is the best vendor we could possibly get. But that's about it. Let's see if he's going to talk something about the guards. Good day. No, so he just gave me the suggestion. Bye. Okay, so Come let's on. go to the Priory. This is so weird because... <laughs> It's the first thing that the game throws at you is like go to the priory and we are doing that at like what where are we now at episode 90 i guess so more than a, a year and a half later we are just 
started the main quest. That's awesome. Hey. I'm the shepherd here. Eranor's the name, and this is Waynon Priory. I see. Where can I find Joffrey? If he's not sleeping or eating, he'll be fussing with his books, I reckon, over in the Priory house. Okay. That's good enough. Good day. Mm, assassination. Letter to mother. This actually seems relevant. Let's see. Please don't worry. The other council knows what it's doing. What it is doing. Uh, I don't think so. Uriel was an old man. They knew he wouldn't live forever. And I'm sure they had plans for the succession. Actually, they didn't. So, of course, now with uh, the three princes dead, it's not clear who will be the next emperor. But it's happened before. There are precedents, I'm sure. And anyway, uh, Okato and the council. Or Okato, I don't know have been running the empire for the past 15 years anyway so there's nothing to worry about everything will be fine i don't know what you've read or heard but here at the priory everyone seems to think that it must be, have been some madmen or witches or crazy cultists and not far off it doesn't look at all political that i dispute so it's horrible and depressing but the empire will survive there will not be rioting or civil war, civil war or another war in the west actually there will be sort of a civil war, civil war pretty soon so please if you like go stay with uncle core and aunt Kara or Hera on the farm for a while but i'm certain you will perfectly find the city mm, depends on which city and if the city has a portal open or not so i'll try to get down to visit as soon as possible and i hope to hear from you soon so your loving son Finer, I guess. Yeah, we're not getting that, but very interesting. Probably one of the monks here. Hey, Mr. Joffrey. It's been a while. A long, long, long while. Hello. I'm Brother Joffrey. Can I help you? Sure. Uh, so, uh, the Emperor sent me to find you. Emperor Uriel, do you know something about his death? I do. Uh, he gave me the Amulet of Kings. You brought me the Amulet of Kings? This cannot be. Let me see it. Sure. By the Nine, this is the Amulet of Kings. Yes. Who are you? How did you get this? What do you know of the Emperor's death? So, I'm going to tell the Emperor's last words? As unlikely as your story sounds, I believe you. Only the strange destiny of Uriel Septim could have brought you to me carrying the Amulet of Kings. Well, that was easy. So, who is the Prince of Destruction? The Prince of Destruction he referred to is none other than Merun's Dagon, one of the lords of the demonic world of Oblivion. The Emperor's words, close shut the jaws of Oblivion, certainly suggest that he perceived some threat from Oblivion. Yes. But all the scholars agree that the mortal world is protected from the Daedra of Oblivion by magical barriers. That's not true. So how can Oblivion threaten us then? I'm not sure. Only the Emperors truly understand the meaning behind the rituals of coronation. The Amulet of Kings is ancient. Saint Alicia herself received it from the gods. It is a holy relic of great power. When an Emperor is crowned, he uses the amulet to light the dragon fires at the Temple of the One in the Imperial City. With the Emperor dead and no new heir crowned, the dragon fires in the temple will be dark for the first time in centuries. It may be that the dragon fires protected us from a threat that only the Emperor was aware of. So the Emperor asked me to find his son? I am one of the few who know of his existence. Many years ago, I served as captain of Uriel's bodyguards, the Blades. One night, Uriel called me into his private chambers. A baby boy lay sleeping in a basket. Uriel told me to deliver him somewhere safe. He never told me anything else about the baby, but I knew it was his son. From time to time, he would ask about the child's progress. Now, it seems that this illegitimate son is the heir to the Septim throne, if he yet lives. 
So where can I find Uriel's son? His name is Martin. He serves Akatosh in the chapel in the city of Kvac, south of here. Oh no. You must go to Kvac and find him at once. If the enemy is aware of his existence, as seems likely, he is in terrible danger. Oh, I bet he and is. And please, let me know if there's anything you need. My resources here are limited, but I will help in any way I can. Okay. So we have a lot of information here. So, let's talk about the Amulet of Kings. It will be safest here with me. When you return with Martin, we will figure out our next move. Uh, sure. Assistance? I keep a few things here in my chest to resupply traveling blades. Help yourself to whatever you need. Okay, I'll get it. I'm going to open the chest, I guess. There you go. So, what else? Your first priority... Uh, Boris? One of the youngest blades ever to serve in the Emperor's personal guard. I am glad to hear that he survived, but I fear he will take the Emperor's death particularly hard. What about the Dragonfires? The coronation of each new Emperor is sealed when he uses the Amulet of Kings to light the Dragonfires in the Temple of the One. The Dragonfires of Akatosh remain lit until the death of the Emperor. His successor then lights them anew upon ascending to the throne. With Emperor Uriel dead and no successor crowned, the Temple of the One will be dark for the first time in centuries. Alright, what about the Elder Council? The Elder Council rules in the Emperor's absence by ancient tradition. Chancellor Akato heads the Elder Council and is the closest thing the Empire has to a leader right now. But the Blades answer only to the Emperor, of course. We are not an arm of the government. Okay, what about Martin? He is a priest in the chapel of Akatosh in Kvach. He never knew that he was Uriel Septim's son. You need to find him at once and bring him safely back here. Alright, what about Maroon's Dagon? The Daedra Prince of Destruction, an inveterate foe of all mortal races. He was involved with Jaeger Than's plot against the Empire years ago. It doesn't surprise me to find his hand in the current calamity. Alright, what about the blade? Yes, Boris told you right. I am the Grand Master of the Blades. We serve the Emperor and the Septim bloodline. Talos is our patron. You wonder to find me here? Discretion is our watchword. Only a few of us have the honor to serve publicly in the Imperial Guard. All right. Waste no time. You must find Martin before the enemy does. Yeah, problem is they already have. <laughs> That's the main thing. Kovac has been attacked like since the beginning of the game. Oh, maybe I can open this eventually. Let's see what, what can we get here in terms of assistance. Yeah, potions of healing, arrows. Yeah, that's about it. All right, guys. So starting here the main quest. So I apologize for the way thing, but unfortunately, we won't be able to continue doing quests the way quest. That said, we only had like four left, and of the four, I think we could only have done like three or something like that. And all of them are side quests, so the, the actual quest line is done, you know? So uh, I don't know if there's a fix, some way to fix that bug or to use the console. I tried, it didn't work. But I remember doing the zombie quest in the past, which means that I was able to do it without... Uh, I was able to do the When You Wish Upon a Star quest without having the bug that forced me to fight those Dunmer outside of the temple there. So that means that it's not uh, something that will happen always, the bug, right? So that's a pain in the ass, but we were able to do most of the quest line, so, and the main quest line was done. So that was okay, so we got uh, the manor and stuff. So now let's proceed here with the only quest line in the game that we haven't done yet, which is the main quest. This one's going to take a while. So, uh, I, I want to stop the video right here because I don't want to... I wanted to start uh, a video with the beginning of this quest, the main quest. But unfortunately, we had the problem with the way quest line. So yeah, so we are going to really start the main quest line in the next episode. Thank you very much for watching. And I'll see you guys in the next episode.